excited? I, I, this is going to be my second time riding Second time? Second time riding Monstar. How about you, Everett? First time. Are you excited? Well, that's what <laughs> it is going on at Obel's. Sports socks and cowboy boots. <laughs> Everett, are you excited? Yeah. No? You're scared? I'm not scared. I rode a horse before. You have rode a horse before? It's been a while. Be brave. You can do I it. Can, I told you when I was like two or three. I don't know. You can do it. Growing up in Idaho. Mom? Yeah? Mom, is it buckled? Yeah, it's all buckled. Okay, lift your leg up and over. Are you, are you, are you, are you going to always hold it, Grandpa? Yeah. Oh. Does that make a difference? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do Berlin first. Oops. And then you can go. <laughs> She's a good horse. Stay over, here, Stay over here by us and watch her. <laughs> you look so big, Ev. You're all right. You're okay. You're doing a good job. It's like being on like a big horse. It's like Bucky. You're fine. Do you want Berlini? Can Berlini get on with him? You're okay. Riding a horse. Come on. You're doing good, honey. Don't like fight against her. Good job, Renee. Good job. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Jump the fence. Jump the fence. All right, so today I'm going to take you on a little tour of my little garden here. It is one of the most enjoyable things that I do. Absolutely love, 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 love my garden. So, we're gonna start. Um, I have a ton of little stepping stones and little bird figurines and little duck figurines, and we'll see more of those later. But um, what I start out with is, right here I've got some zucchini, which I'm famous for because of the zucchini houdini. And then I've got a long two rows of corn and then over here, I love to grow peas. Uh, fresh peas, there's just nothing better. So these little beauties here are just starting to come up. And pretty soon they'll be climbing clear up this fence here. 
This next um, row over, I've got carrots that are just starting to peak up. And then I've got a row of green beans. And they're just the bush beans, so they don't need poles to grow on. And what I like to do with those is actually make um, canned hot beans. And I'll show you those a little later. I've got another row of beans over here, mainly because I absolutely love making those um, hot beans. And then I've got some tomato plants along here. And this is my absolutely beautiful little strawberry patch that I love. That's my granddaughter Berlin's bunny. And of course, um, because I'm a Disney freak, I have Tinkerbell in my garden as well. And there's little squirrels and bunnies. And I love my clematis plants. This is my rhubarb plant, and I love making strawberry rhubarb jam or rhubarb pie or rhubarb custard or whatever with rhubarb. It's so, so good. I'm just starting to get some lettuce peeking up here. And then I've got some squash, another nice old tomato plant. And you may have noticed I've got a bunch of trees. I've got plum trees and apple trees, and then that's an apricot over there in the corner. This is another thing I have a lot of. I love birdhouses. Um, just put them all over the place. And one thing I found about the garden is that I typically plant what I know is going to grow. And I'll leave one row for something that I want to try that's new. But other than that, I stick with the basics that we know we like, we know we're going to eat, and that I know is going to grow. Chickens. And I just fed them some pears. Anything that we have that um, we don't eat or it goes bad, uh, they'll eat. And so it's a nice little way to not waste anything. The only thing I don't feed them is onions or garlic or anything like that that would make the eggs taste funny. So they enjoy getting their treats. Okay, what we're making today is a pineapple coconut smoothie and there's only two ingredients in this and it is really delicious. So the first thing I did was just chop up a pineapple and then put it in the freezer. And then I just used a regular can coconut milk and it's just what you buy at the store looks like this and I use the light coconut milk and you put approximately one cup to three quarters cup in um, the blender with the frozen pineapple and then you just blend it together okay so after you blend it this is what it looks like it's just this delicious creamy pineapple coconut slushy and again like I said only two calories try it let us know what you think